All right, guys. So in the previous videos, we had seen what is a directed graph, how can we work with network X and directed graphs, and what is points distribution methods, and uh, how do we uh, simu we had simulated it with Excel uh, sheet, and um, that that was for a very small network, and now we had started off with the programming part with a complex network having lot of nodes and edges. We had created a random network. We had visualized it. We had initially given equal points to all the nodes, and we had started the game. We had asked the nodes to distribute the points based on their outgoing edges, based on the structure they keep distributing, and we decide when to stop this game. Uh, that's, that's just because in Excel we have the flexibility. We can extend that. We can drag the calculations to as long as we want. So something like that, same like that. I want to give the control to the user. That's why I had done it something like that. That the user will decide when to stop. So whenever the user stops, it will just uh, say this is the final values. So something like that. We had got it right. So now what should we do? Once we get the final values, we should rank the nodes based on those values. And the next step would be to compare it with the actual page rank values that is provided by the built-in functionality in network x so we'll do that okay so after we are done distributing we got the final points so i have to what should i do rank by points right i have to rank the nodes by points so let me say rank by points let me call it so to rank the nodes by points what do i need I want the final points. So I want this. So I have to rank the nodes by points. Okay, so as you could see, it's undefined name. There's a warning message that's given. So let us define it. Let us define it. Okay. Define this thing. And let me see. How shall we start with it? So we have defined this functionality rank by points so the first thing is if you just like that we have we have points is nothing but a list right so if we sort the list it's simple and you just rank it that's what you're saying but if you sort the list you will lose the information as to this point belongs to which node so here we need to keep track of two information which node has got which how many points it's not just about how many points it's about which node has got how many points? So, we have to convert this list structure into a dis dictionary structure. We have to convert the list structure into a dictionary structure. And this dictionary structure will be applying the sort functionality that is defined on dictionaries. And this uh, will be using to display the rank of the nodes based on the points they have accumulated. Alright. So, as I said, I need a dictionary. So, let me say D. Let's say dictionary D. So I have to have uh, the the node uh, the points are actually arranged in the same order. No, node zero point is the zeroth element of this list. Node one's point is the first element of the list. Something like that. That's how it has been arranged. So let me. It's just enough if I loop once. So I loop over for i in range length of points. So whatever is the index, that is the node ID as well in our case. Length of final points, basically this is final points. Or maybe we can even call this as points as well. So there it was final points and even here you can call it as points. So for I in range, length of points. That is I am going to iterate over the list. I am going to convert into a dictionary. Dictionary with key I. The list index is what I am going to make it as a key. So that is same as node ID, right? So I'm going to make it as a key. It's nothing but the corresponding value of points at that index. So I have created the dictionary. So now I should sort this dictionary. To sort the dictionary, we have a built-in functionality, sorted. You need to pass the items of the dictionary. And here, a dictionary has two things key and value we need to sort it based on the value part right so for that we need to say key equal to lambda so key here is nothing but based on what value you need to do what, what is the factor 
based on which you need to sort that is what you call as key and lambda is a built in functionality in python um, basically it's like for example alphabetical order at ascending order at attendance order or whatever you can call it as how would you do it the based on the first letter you will sort the names a comes at the beginning then comes b then comes c and so on what if you have a different demand you want to sort it based on the last letter so in that case you have to make use of a custom function that you are actually um, going to write and based on that function you have to sort for your requirement something like that if you have some other factor that you are defining and based on that factor you want the sorting to happen you will use this kind of a syntax and lambda because i am not going to define a new requirement that is not present in python this sort by value is a common requirement so python has defined it so it will say the factor f let me call it f is nothing but by f at the index 1 So key is at index zero and value is at index one. So this lambda functionality sort of converts it into a tuple format and it will take the value at index one and it will sort based on it. So this is a defined functionality that has been uh, defined in Python itself. In case you want it an, as a new requirement, here you can say e equal to my function and based on that function it will sort. So what is the factor I should consider for sorting? that is what is denoted by this key okay so my factor is nothing but i want it to be based on the first index value that is based on the value of points i want the sorting to take place the the relationship between the node id and the points is also preserved and sorting also occurs so this is the specialty so if once it is sorted it will return a tuple a list of tuples basically so i need to print it so i'll print this value so given that i have sorted and printed so the ranking part is done so what should i do now so once i have ranked let me compare it with the default network x function i'm going to use that and i'm going to compare the results so the default function of network x is nx dot page rank and you have to pass the graph and it will return a dictionary basically so that's why we had also used a dictionary right we had the why dictionary because you need to reserve you have to actually preserve the fact that this node has this many points you have to preserve that fact so let us say this is the result of your page rank resultant dictionary nx dot page rank of g just you need to give the value of page rank and these things maximum number of iterations how many iterations you want you can customize it you can do it as per your demands uh, but even if you don't give there are some default values it will be taken and it would be calculated So we got the resultant. That's a dictionary. And same like this, I need to sort and print the sorted values, right? So let me just copy paste this line. Let me just copy and paste it. So I'll copy. So given that I have copied, so let me paste the line here. And here instead of D, it is the name of my dictionary is result. So. i have taken a dictionary and based on the values i want the sorting to occur that is based on the points accumulated i want the sorting to occur so just a quick recap and then we'll proceed with running so we had seen up till distribution of points the output even is displayed here but before proceeding further i'll clear the screen and i'll run uh, so the output is as well displayed here uh, it uh, it gets converged uh, to some specific distribution so we had seen up till there and once we have got the convergence state we have to rank the nodes this is the points for the node 0 this is for the node 1 node 2 and so on so we have to rank the nodes based on it if you just keep uh, this is a list so if you just apply sort on list the fact that this node has this points is lost that's why we'll convert it into a dictionary as you could 
See here, we are converting the list into a dictionary, preserving the fact that this node has these many points and we are applying this built-in functionality sorted on dictionary and this is a functionality that takes care of sorting based on a given parameter, based on the points value we want to sort it. So, we are using that built-in functionality just that to preserve the fact of this node has these many points, we are using the dictionary data structure. We are converting the list into dictionary. Also, we, are, we have done this for our method, points distribution method. And once it is done, we are going to compare it with the default network X functionality, page rank. That will also return a dictionary and we are applying the same sorting mechanism and we are displaying the sorted result. We will see how is the result that we get after our points distribution method and what is the built-in result that is obtained. We will see how it is same or different or what is the thing that is the node that is ranked as number one here is it the same in the built-in as well. So let us see all those things so before running let me clear the screen and let me run for you let me run now so I have got the some network some distribution I'll continue 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 I keep continuing I keep continuing yes I guess I got a convergence see because I, I was seeing these two values I feel yeah there is convergence there is convergence here so let me press hash to stop okay so I have got convergence here okay so this is the value uh, we have got based on a points distribution method node 7 is the least ranked node and node 6 is the highest ranked node node 7 node 6 yeah the same we are getting we are getting different values here because as I have said if you take a different seed value the final value will be different uh, but as I have said if you take the this particular value by sum of all these values if you find that distribution will be same it is here if you take this particular value 12 point something by 300 if you take that particular uh, fraction if you take the fraction that will be same for both the things you can verify it this uh, built-in functionality is using some other methodology uh, also you I hope you have seen or you will be seeing another method of random walk to uh, get the page rank values so it is using random walk and some other methodologies or with some other seed values it is uh, the built-in functionality is doing so the values may differ uh, but the ranking if you see node 7 is the least ranked node and node 6 is the highest ranked node that is preserved not only that the ordering is exactly preserved as you could see 7408 7408 okay 291356 291356 wow this is exactly matching so good it is our method of points distribution and the built in page rank method exactly matches and as I said for whatever be the network structure there is a convergence uh, state there is a convergence configuration this is mathematical proof that you can take it as an advanced material from this lecture. You can look it up. Some amount of probability is the prerequisite for the mathematical part. You can look it up as an advanced material from this. It's not very required if you are interested and if you are uh, a geeky person, a math oriented person, a, a highly enthusiastic person with math, you can look it up. The requisites are probability theory, that's it. You can look it up and you can see to it. It will always converge. There is a rigorous mathematical proof for it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, activity on PageRank using points distribution method. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.